Hi, it's me. The most sunniest ray of sunshine ever. <laughs> okay, so right into trigger warnings. I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk about a little bit of suicide talk and a little bit of... Uh, of uh, domestic abuse, maybe some sexual abuse. Uh, I need to get like more efficient at these or just change my name to trigger warning because I don't know what I would talk about if uh, I didn't ever relate back to my own life. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but you know what? Like laughing at it got me through it, so I don't know. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, uh, there, um, is this, uh, YouTuber that I really admire who is a therapist and, um, she has been producing brilliant content, great quality for years now, and, um, Today, I, I felt so bad for her because um, she's suffering from burnout. And she made this video apologizing to everyone and saying that she should have said something sooner. And, um, and I was just thinking, like, yeah, if it makes her feel better, she should have said something. But um, she doesn't owe anybody that. And, um, uh, she was apologizing and saying like, well, I didn't actually know anyone who died from it. And, um, you know, like I didn't have it. I didn't catch, you know, and that doesn't matter. Um, pain is pain. Hard is hard. Uh, all of us. All of you have been through a really, like, hard time. And nobody gets to, nobody's, like, more entitled. I mean, yeah, some, some people may have had more extreme loss, but that's not, that's not how it works, you know? Um... I've had people ask me before, because I have been through so much, um, if, if I get annoyed when people complain about small things. And um, I don't think that talking about your feelings is the same as complaining. Um, you have every right to your grievances. I think complaining is just, you know being like, it's too hot outside or something like that, that you can't really control and that you're not really like going to come up, uh, with a solution to anyway. But, um, if we get, if we get our, if we get our emotions and, um, speaking our truth confused with complaining, I feel like that's when some really, that's, we get in some really like dangerous, areas, some pretty, like, hard situations, and, um, you know, having been in a lot of different, uh, DV shelters, a lot more, that I don't even know how many, I, I was gonna try to count, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter, trust me, <laughs> and, uh, I think for, everyone that I talked to and like in, in all the groups, it was pretty much a consensus that, um, the physical abuse was secondary and the emotional abuse and the gaslighting was the worst because that's hardest to make sense of. It's the hardest not to, uh, blame yourself for it's, I mean, physical abuse is awful, but it's, it's a lot easier to process because it's like, oh, bad, you know? Oh, I know where bad stuff goes. I'll put that over where I put all my bad stuff, you know? <laughs> Throw it in the trash. I don't need that anymore. But um, the emotional stuff and the 
the ambient stuff and the stuff that you're not sure you're entitled to, that stuff's hard. And I just want all of you to know that you are entitled to it. And uh, it might it it might take a little while to um, work through it because I think sometimes that's the harder stuff. And, you know, I don't want to say I was fortunate, but like, um, I know, of course, this pandemic was hard on me. It was hard on everybody. Sorry, my back. My back needs to, my back needs to stretch. Okay, so it was, it was hard on everybody. Yeah, it was hard on me, but like, I guess I did have, um, the advantage of like, my life has been pretty similar to what the pandemic was like, you know, just like never really knowing what to expect, not having, um, certainty, uh, you know, being isolated. Um, yeah, but, uh, of course, of course, you know, you're entitled, you're entitled to your feelings and you don't owe anybody anything. And, uh, I just remember one time this dude, this like super stupid dude that, uh, we weren't even dating, but, uh, I don't know what that guy needed to just go away. But, uh, um, what a dick. That dude was a dick. <laughs> but uh, I remember um, telling him I had PTSD because it, like, really affected everything about my life. And um, and uh, him saying, like, oh, well, I have friends who are in war. It's, like, real PTSD. And I'm like, what? Like, yeah, that's bad. That's bad. But how can you say that that, oh, that's, that's real PTSD. Like, my fucking ex-husband jumped off of a bridge that I had to drive over every single day thinking that I would be on it with my children after just completely torturing me for six years and it's like it's nobody <laughs> oh, nobody is, is more entitled to their feelings than you are you know Whatever, if this was hard, if you're having burnout, if you're having a breakdown, if you don't know how to feel about anything anymore, like, those are all completely valid feelings. And um, I just urge you all to be patient and kind with one another and don't have pain pissing matches. There's no, there's no place for that. There's, that's just, this is a... Uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos at a different time um, about uh, what we can do um, to uh, to like form a stronger bond with one another and like what is helpful and what isn't. And I, um, I do want to talk about I do want to talk about Britney Spears and, uh, and, and kind of walk through how something like this happens and how all of us are a little bit, I don't want to say to blame, but we need to, uh, restructure our, our, uh, societal norms and thinking and, um, and really, like, really dissect, um, why, why we have some of the thinking patterns that we have. So, uh, I'll do that tomorrow, though. I'm super tired. Okay, bye.